Hey everybody, what's up? Chuck here, PowerAddicts.com. What I'm holding here in my hand is a hard drive out of a computer. It is the little box device, whatever, that stores all the information that, like, if you create a Word document, if you, uh, oh, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever, those Office programs and such. This right here stores your operating system, be it Windows XP, Windows 7, whatever your operating system is, Linux, whatever. It all stores on this little box right here. See, right there's a computer that it actually come out of, and I'm setting that one up with a new hard drive now. But my point behind the video is, there is a very nifty little tool inside this thing that is so beneficial. It has saved my tail on several different occasions, and you would never think that something that is bad, most people tr uh, trash, throw away, whatever, that there is a nice little tool inside there. What is it? Well, let me get this apart and I'll show you. I'll be right back. All right, to start off with, you can see I've already taken out some of the screws already just to kind of help speed up the process of you know, showing you guys. But whenever you take one of these hard drives apart, you got a screw around the perimeter here. And for the most majority of them, this torque is a T8. The lettering is really worn off, so it appears to be a T8. There's always a screw that hides from you. If you look here, the spindle, imagine it being right here. Now at the opposite end of this label here, you just have to push around on the la on the label right here, and you'll fill in the indention. There's a screw hiding underneath there. You gotta take that out. Then once you get all the screws out, this plate right here can be a little bit sticky coming up. For one, I mean it's got this rubber seal around this right here that kind of tends to stick a little bit, holds it down, but just get a little screwdriver pry it off. Now what we got, I'll give you guys a quick explanation of how a hard drive works. If you ever hear that chattering sound, it's like you got a little squirrel inside of chattering on a nut, it's just going that's this arm right here, chicken just kind of chattering back and forth. This arm writes the data to these discs right here. These discs right here is what's storing all the pictures, all the video, the operating system that allows you to surf my YouTube videos, all that stuff. This disc right here stores all that data. This little arm right here, as it chatters back and forth, it's reading and writing information back and forth to these discs. So, that in a nutshell is basically how a hard drive works. This thing goes back and forth writing the data. This thing right here is spinning like crazy, about 5400. See, this one is a... Most of them are 5400 RPM, the, the older ones are. But I mean, you can go, I've got my servers actually got 10,000 RPM drives in them, so it varies from one hard drive to another how fast this thing right here is spinning. But, you know, this thing right here chairs back and forth, writes data to it while this right here spins. That's about it in a nutshell. Now, back to the point. We want to take these screws out next. If you guys notice how much pressure I'm putting on it, raise it up, there it goes. Look at that. The tool we're after is one sick strong magnet right there. That's what we're after. But, this arm right here has to come out. Now, you got sometimes you can twist that arm back far enough to clear the plates here or the discs. It'll go back far enough to clear, but this right here is not going to be that cooperative. So what you got to do next is these screws. These are T6s. Most of the time. All right. Once you get all the screws out, this little plate right here, lift it right off. You don't need it. Then you want to get in behind here, pry the platter up or the disc. And I don't know. You guys can hang it off your mirror, make some bling bling off your mirror or something. Up. Now we can take and pick this up. 
Well, typically you can't. Come on. There it goes. Get that out of the way. You got this screw right here. Now, one hard drive manufacturer to another is going to be different, but this is the basic principle of what you're going to be doing. And there it is. That's what all the fuss is about. The little old magnet right there. Now, these screws right here contain like some alloys and stuff like this, so they don't like jump right at the magnet or anything. Like They're not very stout. There you go. That is another hard drive, and I'm holding it up by that magnet. And this one is a I'm holding up as a one terabyte hard drive. Tell you what, let me go and get my I got some little scales I use in the kitchen. We'll weigh this hard drive, give you an idea how much weight that thing's holding. Be right back. All right, but I ran in the kitchen real quick, got my little cheapy uh, food weighing scales. That hard drive right there is almost a pound and a half. So look at a pound, six ounces, something like that. And that little bitty magnet right there is holding that. It was holding that up, no problem, as you've seen. Except for when I shook it, then it dropped. See? These hard drives, these magnets are no joke. I'll hold it up a little closer to you so you can see the scale itself. Hope it's going to focus. There it is, about pound eight. So, just give you an idea how strong those are. Great little tool. If you guys, if you got, you know, if you can, if you got a, a computer and you have the hard drive replaced, or you do it yourself, or whatever, get the old hard drive. Nice little tool. I was working on a Mustang one time, and it's a five-speed. Looking at bell housing. Luckily, I dropped a bolt outside the bell housing. I tied a piece of wire onto this right here and dropped it down inside the bell housing. It snatched that bolt up. I brought it right back out. Didn't have to take the bell housing loose from the block or anything. Um, lots of little craft and tools you can make with this too. Matter of fact, I've got something coming up on my next video. Stay tuned. There you go. Take that junk hard drive. Super strong magnets. So, thank you for watching the video. Um, Subscribe to my channel, leave questions, comments. Feel free to ask. PowerAddicts.com. See y'all. Peace.